Hey everybody, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is, uh, let's play MLB Power Pros. Lethal Feline's success story. And, uh, I went ahead and started recording again for YouTube because, uh, MDB45424 brings up a good question. This is a sports game. It is a sports game that has, uh, create modes and options just like so many others. Um, however, this one's create mode uh, involves um, one of those like school life simulator things where you pick whether or not you're going to spend today studying or today going out and training athletically or working at a job or what. It's uh, that sort of thing. That's right. Baseball on the street, dating sim in the sheet. Let's take a quick look at our stats here. We now have the A student level of Bookworm. So there you go. It is a very intricate, long character creation mode. It took me four, or took me two, like, afternoon long live streams to do my last created character, and that one didn't even take. So, let's check out our friend data. Excuse me. Excuse me again, goodness. Wow. Pote here is one of our best characters. Well, I guess he's a third year, so makes sense. Though Sedlake is not bad either. Nor is McDay. Riker, we got another first year shortstop. He's about as bad as we are, though. And Eval. Basically, uh, there are mystery characters here. Those other two characters are people that uh, we'll, we'll be able to see a little bit later on. Marvin is the only one we've met thus far, though. But, uh, can I go back again and double check on, uh, I wanted to see. Alright, so we are a little bit farther along now. I want to, basically the thing I want to unlock, is, and I can't remember if it's in the next level of, uh, Bookworm, or if it is the third level of Bookworm, but is the thing that breaks down the vitality meter and shows you where you will get hyper recovery. So I could go and get a job and make some money, or I could study some more. Let's do that. I better review what we studied in class. Finish studying. Bookworm rating went up. Use some vitality. Toby! What do you want? Is Robbie always such a nice guy? What? You trying to compare me to him? You trying to say that I'm hard to get along with? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. It's just that he seems to go out of his way to help others like Milton who can barely open his mouth to say hi. Oh, that. It's probably because the kid reminds him of his little brother. Robbie's got a brother? Yeah. I never met him, but I hear he's a handful. Maybe that's why Robbie can't help but be protective of everybody. I see. But Robbie's got to realize that baseball is all about teamwork. You know what I mean? And the teamwork needs communication. Something that Milton the kid is sorely lacking. You think he'll be able to play if he can't communicate? Yeah, if you put it that way, it does sound like it might be rough. Of course it does. If I was team captain, I'd never let a kid like that join the team. Wow. How can we play baseball? We have no mouth and we must scream. I suppose screaming isn't necessarily tr needed for baseball, although these two seem to be having a conversation about whether or not communication is a uh, key. Hey, see. If I was team captain, I'd think twice about keeping you around, Toby. What? <laughs> just kidding, Toby. Phew. That just slipped out. 
Chitter chatter, chitter chatter, chitter chatter. Man, it sure is noisy over here by food shop. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Chief? Do you want to go to New York? Yeah. Do you want to go to New York? Yeah. Huh? What's going on? They're working on some sort of game show. Contestants travel around North America eating local delicacies. The object is to get all the way to New York. They move on to the next location on they move to the next location on the map by providing the answer to a question. Looks kinda interesting. Why do they want to get to New York? Well, there's a lot of nice things about New York. You don't mean to tell me you've never been there, Chief. Dun, 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 dun. This doesn't seem like it should have that much of an impact, but... But it's poll time. Hey yo, serve it time. Everybody go ahead. You can vote. What in the hell would the Marvin card do for this? I I imagine it would uh, cause you to use reverse psychology on Marvin and turn the question around on him. That may even have been the uh, card we used last time. I'm not entirely certain. I really don't see why this is important, but, you know, it's how life goes. And everybody wants to use the Marvin card. Now we don't have a Marvin card for next time, folks. Me! How about you? You ever been there? No, Chief. I guess you think I'm pretty lame, huh? I didn't see that, did I? I can tell when you're talking down to me. I can't ignore that, Chief. If you want me to forgive you, you better buy me dinner. The heck are you talking about? Mentality points gained. Good. I wanted those anyway. Now we have great luck. And we are halfway to level two. Intellect. But we better rest and regain some vitality, because we are exhausted. And we got hit with a diamond cutter. Okay, looks like everyone's here. As you know, Becky's father is going to take a look at our team today. Try to look good out there. Daddy's here. Mm, is this one of the tulips flying? Uh, yes, sir. That's right, sir. Relax, don't be nervous. Are you in charge here? Uh, y yes, sir. I'm the captain of the team, sir. My name's Robbie, sir. Robbie. I hope my daughter isn't causing you any trouble, son. Uh, no, sir. No trouble at all, sir. Right. Well, Becky, it looks like you know how to pick them. This Robbie's a fine young man. What? You got the wrong guy, Daddy. Uh, that's enough with the introduction. Why don't you take a look at the players? Well, that's what I'm here for. Hmm. To cut to the chase, they're about as good as any neighborhood kid's pickup game. Ouch. I was afraid you'd say that. But, there is one player who outshines them all. He's the Leon Nacha! 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 Oh, rest in peace. Alvin. What? You really think so, Daddy? I do. But if you want to go out with him, you have my blessing. Hey, man, Amber Visions are the, uh... Amber Visions are the choice of uh, law enforcement and uh, people that have to be out in the sun for no darn good reason, and Unabomber's everywhere. What are you scouting for? My future husband? Relax, don't get so wound up. I'm impressed by his abilities as a ball player. Really? I don't see a coach for the team. That can't be good for him. Isn't there anything you can do? I think I might be able to help. Daddy, you're the greatest. You know I'd do anything for my little Becky. Mentality points gained. Scouts eval increased. Well, good. Let's keep studying. 
I better review what we study in class. Hmm, let's see. Which of the following was not one of the four traditionally taught cuisines? This one doesn't seem like it has a good answer. Genuinely. Oh, MDB, uh, we were there. Uh, we uh, just weren't one of the uh, like we were in the we were in the background basically. Only p people that have dialogue theoretically are there. We were we were plot uh, designed relegated to be at that location. We just didn't have any particular dialogue or do anything interesting there. So I guess we still got some sort of uh, hint at it. I'm going to just guess because there's just not a good way around this. I'm going to go for the one that is the probably hardest to find uh, outside of its own native region, which I would think at least is Turkish cuisine. Because you can get Japanese food, you can get Chinese food, you can get French food, it's super fancy, but... Dang, got that one wrong. But our bookworm rating still went up and we lost vitality. Gather up, everyone. The start of the season is upon us. For the last past seven years, the tulips have been ranked last in the league. What the? We're dead beard. Where were we ranked eight years ago? Uh, it wasn't a team eight years ago. Seven years ago, we joined the Sunny League. Sunny League. Baseball league that includes the Tulips and five other teams, including the elite world gatherings from Ever Victory University. Great names. The league does not use a designated hitter rule and allows both metal and wood bats. Most players use metal bats. And since it was formed, we've ranked six the whole time. The highlight of our history was the game where we clinched a tie for fifth place. It was an amazing, touching game. <sighs> the memories. Anime Sweat Noodle number four. He looks like he's about to cry over something so small. Plus, did they end up in last place anyways? Well, no point in crying over the past. Let's look to the future. Okay. Hey, I can't hear you. Yes, sir. So, anything else you want to ask? Now I know all these things, but let's go through it really quickly anyway. What's the Sunny League? You don't know what the Sunny League is? Alright, let me explain. As I explained it before, our mem teams are a member of the Sunny League, including us, there's six teams. Why do we play the other five? So we play the other five teams during the season. That's right. As, uh, as for our rival schools, like, uh, you know, uh, Justice University or Justice High School or whatever it is. Anybody remember rival schools? It was an interesting uh, early 3D uh, flap or early 3D fighting game. You get to know them as we face them. For now, keep an eye on Ever Victory University, strongest team in the league. I know that school. Their team is called the World Gatherings, right? Correct. They're famous around these spots. So if we beat these World Gatherings, we should be able to make take the championship, right? No, it doesn't end there. We win the league, then we're entered into the tournament. A tournament? Yeah, I'll explain about the tournament in due time. For the time being, our goal is league champions. Okay! So, anything else you want to ask? How long is the season? From the end of February until the end of May. We come out on top, then we play the tournament in June. February to May, that doesn't seem very long. Is there anything else you want to ask? 
How do I get to play a game? Will we get to play right away? No way! Well, hold on, Toby. We don't have a lot of players, so it's not like there's no chance at all. Nevertheless, first-year players aren't going to become starters right away. Ugh. You guys come to practice, work hard and improve. You'll probably get some playtime in the middle of the season. Okay. You'll only be able to play in the game in the fourth week of May. Of course, that's provided you can become a regular before then. Practice and improve your abilities. Participate in practice and improve your abilities. So, anything else you want to ask? Nothing really. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you've got. Alright, good to see everybody here. I have a special announcement to make. Thanks to Becky's dad, our team is going to have a new coach. I want you to give him a warm welcome when he gets here. Robbie, I think that's him standing behind you. Whoa, uh, are you the new coach, sir? <laughs> b b b may I ask your name, sir? <laughs> His name's Stone. Anime Sweat Noodle, is that four or five? I think that's five? Stone? Not THE Hall of Famer Major League Legend Coach Stone. He was once feared for his iron fist. He disappeared from the world of baseball after losing in the World Series. Oh, by the way, if you hit the L and R buttons. I know this is stuff that I've gone over, but in case you're watching Lethal's and you didn't watch mine, because you love Lethal, not me. It doesn't make much sense that you're watching this, but still. Um, you can bring up a dialogue log. And give seizures! Alright. <laughs> well! You, you mean we got a legendary coach to manage the tulips? I must be dreaming. What do you think of the team, coach? <laughs> <laughs> really? Thank you, coach. What did he just see? He said you've still got a lot to learn. But he sees plenty of potential. He even said there are some future major leaguers among you. He said all that in two harumphs? He sure did. How can you understand what he's saying? Well, since I was a kid, I've been chatting with this other strange person. Where do I get the feeling she's talking about me? Hmm. This paper? What about it? <laughs> wow! You've already prepared a practice schedule? Gee, she's right. It's a practice schedule, all right? Becky really understand this guy. Great, he's even outlined the positions of all the new players. This coach is the real deal. Like Bobby Lashley. I think he wants us to make the major leagues after all. Or I think he really wants to make major leaguers out of us. Hmm. Coach, welcome to the tulips. We look forward to training under you. Welcome, Coach Stone. Mm. Coach's eval increased. Fortune rating has gone up. Mentality points gained. Man, our fortune rating must be through the friggin' roof. Excellent luck. Yay. And once again, we're doing pretty good on our intelligence. Such fortune. It's true. Now I can't be hit with bullets. I have an electromagnetic assist that just makes them fly around me. So, now we have everybody that's involved in evaluation. Before we had those two mystery uh, profiles at the top and just Marvin. We have the coach who says, hmm. The scout who says, not even worth my time. Looks like you're just fooling around. And Marvin, who still wants us to get a part-time job and make some money. No, I must focus on my studies. I better review what we studied in class. Let's see. This following is not one of the forefathers of philosophy. Okay, 
forefathers of philosophy. They keep asking questions like this, don't they? You know what's great about this? If you do try and cheat, Google will give you things like, uh, will basically give you things about, um, what were the who were the philosophers that uh, what were the what was the philosophy of the founding fathers? Got to build up them social links so I can unlock the next tier persona. No, just study. But Kant was a great philosopher. He's a German philosopher. He's considered a central figure in modern philosophy. But I imagine Nietzsche, Nietzsche also is. He's a Prussian philosopher. Yeah, his work is exuded proud. I mean, Confucius was obviously a philosopher. Socrates. I mean, these are all philosophers. It's a matter of whether or not this game considers them one of the classic great philosophers. I mean, Immanuel Kant was a German philosopher who's considered an influential figure in modern philosophy, but... <sighs> Dang, got that one wrong. Which one of these is the right answer? Your bookworm rating has gone up. Use and vitality. I've turned into an insomniac. Oh boy. In front of Muscle University's home stadium. Mighty stadium. Everybody is binge drinking. So this is where the Iron Stones play, eh? And this is where our legend begins, Chief. Remember the man about to get off the bus, folks, because he's going to be a star in the majors. Hey, you two dolts. I told you to start moving this stuff. Yes, sir. Is everyone here? All right, the coach will announce the lineup. At last, the legendary. They're still yammering. If you would, the coach. Hmm. All right, here's the roster. There you go. What? Why is my name listed? Sorry, Lethal. Why wasn't my name listed? Hey. Don't look at us just because you had some wacky idea we'd let you play. I mean, there was even rolling text dialogue back here that said you will not get to play at the very earliest until... When was it? Oh, it's too far back. But yeah, not until, like, May, regardless. But, uh, Alvin is playing. Well, he's, uh, I don't know. Come on, now. Alvin's a special case. Don't worry about it. Man. The first thing you've got to do is show the coach what you can do in practice. Show the coach. Yeah. Before anything else, you've got to stand out and make him remember you. I see. You got a good chance of making the roster sometime during the season. Me and Toby made the roster during our first year. Yes, sir. But I wonder about these two. Doesn't seem fair to compare them to you, or especially me. Girl, show him. We'll make that roster. That's Bison, the traveling shopkeeper. Bison? Traveling shopkeeper? Hi. Do you uh, know this guy, Marvin? His name's Bison, Chief. 
He runs a shop that sells baseball equipment and all sorts of useful items. He's hard to catch because he travels from college to college selling his wares. That's why they call me the traveling shopkeeper. I see. Got anything new today, Bison? Yep. Picked up a lot of new merchandise. Drop in later and have a look, fellas. Also, if you got anything to sell, let me know. Okay, sounds good. You can buy and sell items anytime Bison's on campus. Although there's no ske schedule, Bison often opens shop at least once a month. Or he does open shop at least once a month. An icon will appear at the upper right of the command menu every whenever Bison's around. By the way, you interested in a bat? For some reason, a used bat got mixed in with my order of new ones. Isn't that a wood bat? Sure is. I'll give you a good deal on it. It's yours for just 50 bucks. So, yes, challenge, no, are our options. Everybody, vote now. Use your devices. Exercise democracy. Exercise it, you know, give it some stretches. And the votes are in overwhelmingly for challenge. Death Evan, are you asking for a challenge? Let's use this challenge. And we got another yes. A wooden bat. And a used one at that. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. You spent 20. You're a tough customer, fella. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Alright. Thanks. Alright, let's try this bat out. Oh man, it broke already. <coughs> huh? Dang that, less marks. Um, did you get hit by a piece of my bat? Well, where am I all this time? You were speaking English, so I must be in the good old U.S. of A. Hey boy, what yours? You? That's right, boy. You know, like a. A.D. or B.C.? Oh boy. Sounds like he's knocked a few screws loose. So this is the 21st century. Sure is good to know the baseball's still around. Jeez, this guy's really lost it. Lethal, you okay? Come on, stop talking to yourself. Let's get back to practice. Marvin, what have I done? I really messed up this time. You've done what, Chief? Uh, I didn't trust the Ultimate Warrior and the Ultimate Maniacs, and now Mr. Perfect's gonna wreck my ankle before my big title match with Ric Flair. I mean, my bat broke and smacked this old fella pretty hard. I think he's delirious or something. Oh, don't call me old fella, boy. I know one talks to Willie Legend, that way. I may not be as young as I used to be, but I'm still a Major League ball player, boy. Did you say old fella, Chief? What old fella? This, this guy right in front of me. He says he doesn't even know what year it is. That he's a major leaguer. What are you talking about, Lethal? There's nobody here. This old fellow right here. All right. Stop with the old fellow, boy. And stop wasting your breath. Nobody else can see or hear me. Keep it up and your friend's gonna think you're off your rocker. Oh, jeez, Marvin. What am I gonna do about this old guy? You think we should call the doctor or something? Well, calm down, Lethal. You gotta calm down. Lie down and keep your head still. I think that's what you're supposed to do when you've got a concussion, Chief. I'll be back with the doctor, Lethal. Great. Thanks, Marvin. You are my friend. 
Lie down and keep your head still. It's always the same. Every last one. I just hate explaining all this. And unfortunately, we have a medical issue again. Oi. I almost hate saving this, but uh, let's go to the doctor because, well, let's actually find out real quick. Insomnia. Sleep deprived, trouble falling asleep. That's not good. That means pr probably will mean that we will uh, lose uh, recovery anytime that we uh, do the rest command. So we probably want to get that cleared up. I should go get checked out at the hospital. Next reason. What brings you here today? Oh, you can't sleep. Oh, insomnia. Yeah, probably. Shoot, that's outside my field of expertise. Oh, what should I do then? Well, uh, I don't really know. I, I guess I'll see what I can do. But even if it doesn't work out, I'll still have to charge you. Uh, anything you could do would be great. No, just close your eyes. Okay. Now, lie down on the bed. Like this? No, that that's some disappearing from the world. Uh, yes. Now, lie there for a moment. Okay. Two hours later. Hey, get up. Hey, wake up! Oh, looks like I was actually successful. I spent forty dollars. Insomnia was cured. Wow! Actually, got one of those things fixed the first time. <clears throat> Whoa! That one's definitely over the foul line. Hey, Cax! Can factor in the variable too. Smack. Oh, bang! Yikes! I think the ball hit someone in the stands. Hey, where am I? Who am I? It's Annabelle Hunter. She's a teacher's aide. She's the math whiz that transferred from Think Tank University. Uh-oh. Hey, I feel faint. Nerd. Yeah, DDP just bangs up. Jeez, another one. DDP. I mean, I know is the precursor to the RKO, which always comes out of nowhere, but still. Annabelle, are you okay, Annabelle? I better get you to the nurse's office. Ow! What hit me? In the baseball. It was an accident. We were practicing. I've never felt anything like it. No, I'm really sorry about this. You said baseball. What's so fun about hitting a ball with a stick? Uh, I beg your pardon? Is it more interesting than math? Mm, yeah, it is. It's not. Obviously, you've got it wrong. Nothing could be as interesting as math. You're comparing studying with sports. The logic of calculation and satisfaction of proving theories. You just don't get it. Oh boy. And I tell you what, as a token of my appreciation, I'll show you how fun math can be. There you go. My own original math exercise. Uh, uh, no thanks. Uh, anyway, you, you've got no reason to thank me in the first place. Uh, after all, I'm the one who hit you with the ball. Don't let that stop you from learning the joys of math. Here. All of these? Jeez. How many are there? 2,525. That's equal to the number of cuts multiplied by the number of students who fail my class. Get it? Uh, I'm sorry. I missed the punchline. 
Anyway, give it your best shot and let me know what you think. It doesn't look like she's gonna take no for an answer. We got Annie's math problems. Annabelle likes us more. Chief, we're in trouble. We're in real trouble. What's wrong with you? We're in the library. You shouldn't yell. Oh, yeah, don't yell in the library, man. The soup, Chief. Soup won't sell, and the soup makers will go out of business. What? Wait a sec, what are you talking about? In 50 years, global warming from carbon dioxide will raise the average temperature of the Earth by 6 degrees! Oh no! Here I thought Super Show Monster Story was getting political. <laughs> it's real, folks. Seriously. Take it, take it seriously. Right. You're talking about global warming. Don't you feel threatened? Now, before everybody votes, remember, you don't get to pick what cards you have. If you decide you want to use challenge for a question about climate science, the next time that we need to, I don't know, um, use a challenge to like be enthusiastic about talking to the scout or the coach to play baseball or something like that, it might not be there. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, and do it. We won't get another challenge card immediately, necessarily. We might get a Marvin card. We might get a third yes card. Basically, if you just decide you're going to use challenge every time, you're going to end up using it on some cruddy thing. Look. You can use yes. You can still agree that climate change is real and a threat. However... Got a bunch of goddamn climate deniers on my hands here. Who have all said... No, we don't feel threatened by global warming. This is what's happened. Challenge global warming. Lord Revan, I would love to challenge global warming to back down. Stop it. Stop being warmer. But... Isn't it all a hoax by the Chinese in order to uh, prevent us from using coal? I mean... Nah, it's no big deal. Well, I'm still alive. There probably won't be that big a change, right? That's the wrong attitude, Chief. You can't just think about yourself. You've got to think about what we're leaving behind to the next generation of kids. Would you relax? I didn't mean it that way. Jeez. I bet you probably just learned about it reading a book on the subject. And on that odd note, I'm going to go ahead and break it one more time for, uh, for YouTube. And when we come back next time, we will want to go outside and play baseball, but it'll be just too darn hot. And uh, we're not in, uh, we're not a big enough team to have our own indoor uh, domed stadium. So we got that to deal with. Uh, but anyhow, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play MLB Power Pros: Lethal Success Story. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.